<laughs> what? Please mute my mic while I make love to a song. <laughs> okay. Oh no, what happened? Oh, it's this map. Whoops, I'm sorry. I, I, I knew that, um... Oh my god. Okay, so this happened once before, and... Yeah, okay, so... Live and learn. That was weird. That was freaking me out. What the... F okay. I, I had a feeling that that looked familiar. Alright, let's try that one more time. Oh, catch you later, Boo Man. Have a great evening, Homie G. All right, all right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we're gonna do the standard Ohana. I don't know why it does that. This should be good. It's like WCS Ohana MLG is like a screwed up version. But I think this one's fine. Baby's up. Sick boy. <laughs> that was some weird stuff, man. Freaking me out. Ooh, hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. We are at hump day. In case any of you guys don't know what hump day means, I'm not really sure what it means, but it's just what some of us call Wednesday, which is the middle of the week. I guess kind of like if it was a hill, we're on like the hump, and then like, like let's say we were climbing on like, um, what are they called? You know the guys that spit? Who are the guys that spit? Camels. Let's say we're crawling on a camel and we're on his one of his humps, right? So we're like in the middle of the of the camel, so we're kind of like going down because we just went up from Monday, Tuesday, and now we're handing our way back down to Thursday, and then finally to Friday, and then to the glorious Saturday. Welcome everybody, my name is BCM Palomino. We're going to jump into our third game of this best of five at the top left of Ohana. It's going to be none other than Muppet Nick. The green, the Protoss, and on the bottom right we are going to see none other than Epic Voids. Purple. He's purple. He's a purple nurple. It's goddamn cutie pie. Oh. What the f Muppet Nick? Oh my god. Muppet Nick. What are you doing, Muppet Nick? Muppet Nick. Muppet Nick. Alright, so we're going to see another... Very early scout going down from Voids, actually. Extremely early. There's no reason to ever scout this early. Why is he drone scouting this early? It's like he wants to do like a proxy hatch or something. I think they're both doing some weird... Sh doing something very weird to each other. This isn't a scouting drone. This can't be. It just doesn't make any sense. Why would he ever scout with this drone? Is he going to try and sneak in and make a hatchery or something? He's, a he's actually scouting with it. So strange. And it looks like we are going to have one of those going down. Here we go, baby. This is going to be a little rough here. This drone is so strange. He's I don't know why he would ever scout with a drone that early. It's kind of fishy, actually. The more and more I think about it. Oh no, Epic Voids looks like he's gonna go directly to it. This looks so fishy, it's I hate to say it, but this looks way too fishy, man. Expansion goes down. That doesn't seem right. Maybe I should have, I don't know. But, either way, that wasn't right at all. No way. No way, Jose. Alright, well, now we gotta watch it. Very nice, my Nate going right back to his roots. 
Ladder lane's coming out. Getting the full surround around these zealots. Zealot not gonna have much of a chance here. Fortunately, he is able to cancel this expansion. Three zealots and one cup. It's pretty messed up, man. More and more zealots coming out. It would be so awesome to get a plus one somehow, but that would take ages. Ages and ages. Pretty even amount of zealots and uh, zealots and lings, actually. It's about to get from bad to worse here. As this isn't only when cheese fails, this is when Void Zone knows a little too much. I'm calling shenanigans here. That was a little too much. Probes are able to go ahead and deal with it, but at what cost here? No more probies on gas, because that's what happens when you pull all your probies out to attack. Bottom right of the map, four spine crawls are going to be defending here, but at what cost? He is on one base here. This is going to be very tough. Fortunately, we don't have any gas here for Void Zones, which could actually be a really good sign for something to happen. Unfortunately, he can't attack directly into these spine crawlers, but he can continue to uh, to hold off this natural from going down. If he can go ahead and tech up, he might have a good chance in dealing with this. These links don't have the support of the, uh, of the spine crawlers. Still no gas is going down. With no support of the spine crawlers, these links are particularly weak against a nice little ball of zealots here. Mubba Nick, though, putting down his expansion. I love that. It's exactly what he needs to do. Also needs to hold this ramp. And the full surround. Not quite. Kind of a 50% surround here. These zealots putting in so much work. Links without upgrades, without speed. Not dealing very well against these zealots, and just look at how much cash he's losing right now. Muppenick actually, I don't think he's looking too bad right now. If he can just keep on holding this ram, and if he can somehow just hope that his opponent doesn't grab any gas here, there goes the first gas. He could have a window of opportunity to get a little ahead of his opponent here, but he can't lose these units to spine crawlers. He just needs to hold this ramp. He actually doesn't even have to make any more units here. He could hold this ramp for such a long time. Ballsy move by Muppenick. Now able to get his own expansion. He needs to expect that his opponent is going to get mass lings, mass banelings maybe, or just go into roach production here. As roaches may be the best option. Muppenick, I'm very happy that he's not uh, suiciding himself into these spine crawlers. Right now he's trying to hold this ramp, and I love that. Very fishy opener from Void Zones. Calling shenanigans on that one. That was a that was way too fishy. So fishy. I've never seen anything that fishy. Alright, more and more zealots moving on. Oh, moving on. Oot in a boot. And the Roach Warren is officially here. This ramp still able to be taken right now. Void zones. I mean right now Nick Mupp and Nick needs to get his expansion. He needs to get that robotics facility out. He needs to keep on teching up. Or he needs to be able to deal with these roaches that are eventually going to come out. Although, really, Epic Voids really doesn't have that much cash to work with here. Look at the saturation. Okay, now look at this saturation. We're on one base saturation, baby. Versus one and a half base saturation, almost. 
These elves being so strong. Let's keep an eye on the count. Seven lings, nine lings, seven lings, five lings. So much cash going in the side blades of these warriors here. So looks like they are trying to find a sneaky positioning here. I want him to just keep on keeping on onto this ramp here. These roaches will be out pretty soon. He needs to be able to deal with them as they do come out and try and get and scare these units away so that he can take his expansion or just all in. I need we are seeing a forge going down at the main. Still only gates producing. We don't have any gas. Our work gate tech isn't done yet. And the Zelts are out. One force field getting burnt away here. These roaches can kite for a long time. However, the zealots can take a lot of the damage here. Catch you later, Caruse. Have a great night. This is really multitasking practice for a really hardcore multitasking practice for. Or good old Muppinick as he does need to manage his home base while keeping on the pressure. Look at these zealots putting so much damage in here. Runway, 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 runway. Oh, and he's going right in for it. He is going to lose a lot of zealots here. And at what cost? The the contain is down for Muppinick, and now he's going to need to run away all the way back home. I think actually he does have some nice little force fields in here. Oh yes, very nice force field. He's gonna lose one of the sentries. Oh, now, very nice force field. But now he's still gonna need to run away. He doesn't have any more force fields left. And while running away, he's gonna lose these two gateways. And immediately, this drone moving on over to take this expansion here. These two gateways are going to go down here. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is no wall here to protect. Fortunately, well actually unfortunately, these roaches are done with these gateways and they may be moving directly to the to the expansion or to the natural of their opponents here. I don't know if Muppet Neck is gonna be able to get enough units out to deal with this. He needs to be able to deal with these roaches here. He does have a lot of production coming up. But they're not going to be here on time. These force fields need to be incredibly good. He just needs to keep, he just needs to hold them back and not even split these units. And it looks like the roaches are going to get a free ride up the ramp and that. And it looks like the natural isn't going to be breached here as these zealots in the, at the last, at the nick of time here. Maybe a little shoot and shooting, a little cutting from the roaches here. Zealots are so important here. Just needs to delay, delay, delay. Until he can get a force up to push back, which is moving on back home. The moment this finishes, we're going to see a lot of spines go down. That's my prediction. Ooh, the rocks getting taken down. It's almost like uh, it's almost like Bubnik wants to take his third here. And there we go. Spines migrating to the natural, and right now, this natural is going to be extremely hard to bust. But, ooh, one immortal in the background. I think Muppet Nick might be able to win this. I really think Muppet Nick might be able to win this. He needs to push now, though. We need some proxy pylons going down. There's some more of the roaches. They could get caught a little out of position. I think he can win. We need, I want more sentries, I want more sentries, more zealots. I want sentries and zealots. He can, I think he can win if he pushes right now. And there goes the third going down in a timely, timely time. Looks like Muppet Nick is gonna check for a third first, thinking his opponent double expanded once he was able to break the contain. So similar, similar to what Tirate said, the Protoss player should have done once the contain was broken.